Hello, this is Mike MacGyver. And today with MacGyver's Tire and Wheel, and I got some uh, finds to show and some racks that I did some uh, loading and a little bit of shuffling of things. Wasn't just shuffling the racks, it was shuffling parts. But anyway, up first, uh, we're going to go with the uh, rack situation, I guess. Uh, on this rack here, I had this this one down here was a gasser and uh so I changed it to a plain Jane there as you can see it's not jacked up gasser no more and we're going to zoom in a little bitty bit there how about that let's move this here a little bit right there how about that all right now yeah, this one here was a gasser, so uh, we changed it to a regular type truck, and we we stole we we got the base from a van. Yeah, just a regular van, and we put it on this truck, and we put the base from the truck on the van, and I put it with this yellow one. So we got two gassers together now. The van on the bottom was a uh, model kit, so it came with the rack. I've had it a little while. And like I said, it was just plain stock, you know. So I decided I'd just turn it into a gasser and have two gassers, two gasser vans on one rack. And so uh, that's what we did there. And up next... Uh, well, hold up a minute. I did have down here on this here uh, slot was the van with all the windows in it. The uh, Falcon Club wagon. So uh, I pulled it off and I put this gas in its place. And I put the van with all the windows in it on this rack with this Ford van. Yeah. That's what we did there. Got that lined out. So anyhow, won't stay on it long. Just wanted to show that. Uh, and sticking with racks, I got the Pontiacs mounted. Remember I would showed those two. And I also did a wheel swap on the top one. I did a wheel swap on the bottom one way back when I first got it. But it's just been hanging around, not on no rack. So I wheel swapped the one on top. I don't recall exactly which wheels were on it. I'm not sure if it was these. These could have been on the Mustang because I wheel swapped the Mustang too. But anyway, got these Firebirds together on one rack. And I chose this color rack. This is one I got from Diecast Car Nut. It was uh, kind of close to the color of the one on the top, so we, we just went with that. Yeah, I know it ain't perfect color match, but it'll do for me for now. And I got the Mustangs mounted. We went with the red rack from a car nut, I believe, or this might have been from Rat Black. But anyway, oh, I mean not Rat Black, uh, Curves Garage, you know, he'd sent me a couple racks too. But anyway, uh, I will swap both of these Mustangs and put the uh, my, the billets, as I call them, on the both of them. And they got super wides on them. I may have not mentioned, but the Firebirds got the super wides too. I like to, I like my wide tires on the back. I don't care about I don't care about them being bigger in diameter rims than on the front. I like the rims to be the same as that size. So anyway, that was that. And up next, I, I got this 55 and 57 put together on this rack for now. I want to find another 55 and another 57, and I'll split these up into the into the pairs with the other ones if I ever find some. Yeah, but it's just a, a mix mix matchup set set up now for these 55 and 57. 
They'll stay like that for a while. And yeah, I haven't removed the Datsun and the Dodge and all that on on the rack. And I hadn't, you know, I hadn't, I hadn't got around to removing all this writing. And it's it's been hot, been busy. It's hot, so we're just doing what we can. So anyway, I had scored this year Mustang way back around a little after Christmas time. Got lucky and scored this deer. This is uh, O'Reilly's exclusive 1970 Mustang. Well, I uh, scored another 1970 Mustang a couple nights ago. And I'll be dang, I thought I had it out here and ready to show, but I don't even see it. Where did it go? <laughs> well, dang it. But anyway... I got that Mustang, and uh, it came in a package, uh, an M2 package, and it's, it didn't even have a metal plate. It had a, I mean, a plastic plate. It had a dead gum cardboard made plate, and it had this here, little this little lady here, and another little lady. I broke her legs trying to get it. To where it, I was trying to make this thing stand up on its own, and I broke the leg, so she's legless. But anyway, uh, just wanted to show that. But I don't know what to do with the Mustang. Uh, where did I put the Mustang? I wanted to show it, guys, and now I don't even remember where I put it. But anyhow, it's a red Mustang. No, no, it ain't red. Excuse me. Oh, what? You know what? I was mixed up. Those girls didn't come with the Mustang. They came with a Camaro. I'll show it in a minute. Here's the Mustang. Dang. I found this here when this is 1970 model. And so these two are going to go together on a rack. What do you think? And it's probably going to be a yellow rack since we got the yellow Mustang. And ain't got too many. I don't have any more white racks. So we're going to probably have the yellow one on top and the green and white one on the bottom. But those are 70 Mustangs. They're going, to, they're going to go on a rack eventually. And they're going to get wheel swapped. Uh, this one's already been done. I wheel swapped this one and put super wides on it. Yeah. And they're the billets. And I got another set of billets right back here. In the, uh, behind this box right there another set of billets they're gonna go on the yellow one so i already got the wheels ready for that yes indeed sorry about the confusion and back to the little the little ladies here like i said they came on came with a they came on a plate that was made out of cardboard and it had holes in it and their feet was stuck in they punched holes through it and poked the feet of the dog, uh, the ladies through them. But anyway, they came with this here Camaro. I'm going to move her back over here before she gets broke like the other one. I got this here. This is a 67 Camaro. And what we're going to do with it is, is we're going to pull the white one off of there. And we're going to put the red one down there below. Unless we use a red rack, and if we do use a red rack, we'll put the red one on top and black one on bottom. This is 67. This is 67. This is 69. Well, this 69 is going to go with this 69. So it turned out okay that I wound up with the car I wasn't expecting when I bought this one at O'Reilly's. It's 69. So we're going to have two 69s and two 67s after all. Yeah, I seen this year. I seen this one here, and I couldn't pass up getting it because I needed a '67. It was expensive. That gummit, that uh, uh, M2 charged an arm and leg for it just just because it had two little ladies on there. But dang, the packaging was a piece of crap. But I had to have it, so that's what I did. I went ahead and got it. Yep, yep, it went ahead and got it. And anyway, while I was there at Walmart, and, I, and all this, I did not find all this in one night now. This was sort of spread out over the past couple of weeks there. 
But I scored these at Wally World. Yeah. Look at there. Two more willies for my collection. And they're going to they gonna go together on rack with another willies. I ain't sure that these two are going to be together on one rack. I'm, I have to look at my willies collection and I may have to I might have to do a little shuffling around on the wheelies, you know, to get the color coordinations like I like it. But yeah, there's another rack that'll be loaded one day. No doubt. So anyway, I also found this. So I'm going to have to find another uh, Daytona later on. Only got this one right now so i don't have one i don't have a mate to go with it no sure don't but anywho we'll run across another daytona one day to go with her and looky here i found that too i, I couldn't believe it was there i had seen this a couple weeks back i had it but it didn't have the money so i was at the checkout stand and i called this one and kept all the rest so i wasn't expecting it to be there but it was so i picked it up this time and got it the dodge adventure venturer 72 model so yeah glad to have that and i picked up this one not realizing it was ground pounder i didn't see that it was ground pounder it didn't really look like one at first well, i guess because i was in you know just shopping that's the way it goes sometimes you overlook things but I, I wound up with this ground pounder so it's gonna get forwarded to someone yeah it's probably gonna go to charles diecast garage i didn't want I, I'm, I'm telling this because i didn't want mr ford fan diecast to go to thinking it was coming to him and then he not get it so I went ahead and said, Charles Diecast Garage, you getting this in your box? Because I don't care for ground pounders. So anyway, that's the way that went. So anyhow, another day when I was there, I run across this. This is 66 Dodge Charger. And it's not no gasser, so I'm going to put it with that blue one that I have that's not a gasser. This one here, this blue one on the top, and that one there is going to go together. And then I'm going to have to find me another gasser to go in its place. Uh, Coca-Cola had a gasser at one Walmart, but not at the other one. So when I go back to the other Walmart, I might get lucky and find that Coca-Cola gasser and get it. 66 Dodge Charger gasser. But anyway... Got two to left to show, and then my time's just about going to be out. But anyway, I found these. I found this here, 1955 Plymouth Savoy and the 1986 Ford Thunderbird Pro Stock with real riders. Yeah, this is something I like to collect. I'd prefer something like this than them old JDM stuff. Yeah. So, I picked them up. Glad to have them. So, anyway, that's all I had to show. Yeah, and also got one more thing. I forgot to show this in the box. Oh, uh, the unboxing wrap back sent me the Dremel. Well, this car was down in the box. Yeah, he sent me this. This is a Plymouth. Uh, uh, this is a Cuda convertible. Yeah, Plymouth Cuda convertible. So, yeah, and I just wanted to show that. So, anyhow, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, I finally hit 500 subscribers here just a few weeks back, and I hadn't mentioned it because I really ain't made no videos to mention nothing about it. Gary noticed it and said congratulations to me on 500 subs. So I've discovered I had 500. I may have a little bit above that now. But anyway, I want to thank everybody that subscribed to me over the years. It's been a long five and a half years getting there for sure. Hopefully I get another 500 to go with it. But anyway, I'm going to get out of here. 
Thank you all for watching. And this is Mike MacGyver. And I'm gone.